Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Mike with Bridge 4 Games. I am back today with some more ladder up. Uh, I'm going to keep using a Reuniclus team that I played yesterday on the channel. And uh, hopefully get a couple wins here. Uh, maybe solidify the like, how I run the team a little bit better. Um, I definitely did struggle with it for a while. Um, but you know what? Uh, I'm just going to keep trying it out and hopefully improve with it. Uh, I did make a couple of changes. Uh, I finally got my Scrafty bread out so it has fake out. Uh, I gave it lash out instead of crunch. Uh, I have expanding force instead of psychic on the Reuniclus. And I think that's it. So, uh, yeah, so let's get into it here and uh, see how we do. Um, I, I really don't mind the team. Uh, fighting Hard Trick Room is very tough, I think. But, I'm, you know, I, I, it's what I built, so that's what I'm playing. Uh, okay, so Weezing Gigas. Stuff. Then there's Sun. Alright, well, it just kind of looks like they want to go fast. And their only thing that they have uh, for Trick Room is the Torkoal. Uh, the Weezing is a little tough. Uh, just because... Um, uh, it's just because uh, the neutralizing gas, so I can't get up the uh, psychic train with my Ndidi or anything. Uh, the intimidate on the Scrafty doesn't do a ton. Um, I think I still want to bring the Scrafty here. Um, I think I'm gonna go Amoongus. I think we're going to go Amoongus, Stack Attacka, no, yes, no, Reuniclus, I kind of like the Scrafty overall, I actually really kind of like the Marowak too, Marowak and I'm going to go Scrafty and then see what happens here. I could see either just straight sun or um, the Weezing Gigas. Uh, either one is pretty good. Or just Urshifu Torkoal. That's fine too. <clears throat> um, I kind of wish I brought the Indeedee now. Um, I'm just gonna Rage Powder and can't hit the Urshifu with that. Mm. I almost just want to go. I almost want a Trick Room. Oh, Trick Room. So we take away probably Wicked Blow, I would assume. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we take it. it obviously, it's a crit. Burning Jealousy. So that goes down. Um, okay. Now I'm going to bring in Scrafty. Um, I kind of want to... Ooh, I did not mean to do that. Uh... Yeah, I was trying to do that. Wrong, wrong button there. My bad. Um, it's probably Venusaur in the back, and then I think we're gonna fake out the Torkoal. 
And I think I'm just going to energy ball the Urshifu and see what happens to it. I mean, it does okay. I probably should have faked out the Urshifu because it's obviously the bigger offensive threat here. Yeah, this is actually very scary now. So we bring in Marowak, obviously. Um, we gotta do some damage. Um, I need to take out this Urshifu like right here, right now. I don't really want to close combat though. They're gonna lash out and then I'm just gonna max. Um, I'm gonna max Quake here. <clears throat> like this isn't looking very good for me, I'm not gonna lie. press it does pretty cool damage take this bit of boost It does not do like anything. Um, yeah. So. Reggie Gigas. Okay. So. I'm assuming it's got to be wheezing in the back then. Um. combat there and then I think I'm just gonna max quake the Torkoal um yeah it's yeah I'm not horribly surprised about this turn Uh, I might have, I honestly, I probably should have just max flared the, uh, Reggie Giga slot, but, oh well. Shuka. Okay. I mean, it survives, but it won't survive another one. That's pretty good damage. Yep, Max Quake into the Marowak, I assume. We take that better than I thought we would. I think this is the last turn of Trick Room, right? Oh, it's not. Will we have one more? Yeah, okay. Um. Um. So I think we're gonna lash out the Weezing and Max Flare the Reggie Gigas. <clears throat>
I can see him just like a double protect just to get through the last turn. Um, I probably should have doubled the Reggie Gigas last turn. Uh, I think that was actually a misplay. Yep, Weezing protects. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. You love to see it. So now we're out of Trick'em, so we're faster than the Torkoal. Um, which is very, very good. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the Torkoal has to hit the Marowak either. Um, so I'm going to lash out and bone meringue the Torkoal. Torkoal protects. It's cool. Using sludge bombs. That's super resisted and we're plus special defense. I mean, that does okay damage. Uh, we're just gonna lash out and bone meringue again. Yeah, I expected the wheezing to protect there. <clears throat> it basically has no reason not to. Oh man, that does a bunch of damage. Okay, so they get a berry. So they're going to survive the turn, which kind of stinks. Body press into the Scrafty, I assume. Alright, that did a ton. Uh, that being said, I still think we have to... Um, uh, do we have to really hit the Torkoal here? Uh, I think I'm just going to Shadow Bone the Weezing. Uh, I think that's correct. Okay. So they didn't protect. They get the poison, which is super unfortunate. Like, super unfortunate. I guess we gotta see how much this does. I'm hoping not a ton. Like, I don't think it matters because I think this damp between this damage and then the poison, I just go down. Like, that poison's super unfortunate. Uh, without that poison, we win. So, I mean, we lose a close game uh, to some bad RNG. But it is what it is. Uh, we'll move on and hopefully get a win next time. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's a couple turns that I could have played better overall to not let it come down to a poison roll. But I'll look back on it. And I'll, I'm sure I'll find it. All right, Nihilego, which is kind of scary. Uh, Rotom Heat, the Glastrier, the Clefairy, Rillaboom, and Corviknight. Uh, I am very afraid of Corviknight. Um, that being said, I think Marowak is very good here, uh, except against the Nihilego. So I need to take out the Neolego first. Um, I kind of like, I kind of like in DD stack attacker lead. 
stack. Then I bring the Marowak in the back. And... I don't mind the Reuniclus here. Um, it doesn't really do anything to the Corviknight. But besides that, it seems okay. Uh, we're basically relying on Marowak here to take out the Corviknight. Uh, I'm hoping I can protect it long enough to do so. Um, yeah, so I guess here's hoping. Uh, I really don't think the Glastria really wants to sit in front of a stack attacker. Uh, and the Glastria is basically their only defense against Trick Room. Oh. Okay, so they made their Rillaboom very slow, I guess. Alright, that's something to keep in mind. Um, let's see. I kind of... I actually kind of want to switch out the Indeedee. Switch out into Marowak, and then Trick Room. I think that's okay. Like, we made this Indeedee uh, minimum speed, so like zero speed uh, IVs and such. That's unfortunate. I actually didn't even know Corviknight got Taunt, so there's that, but... Um, let's see. What can I see switching in? Um, I don't think the Rotom really wants to even come to this battle. Um, I think I'm actually going to protect the Marowak and Gyro Ball the Rillaboom. Uh, the Rillaboom could hold a uh, high horsepower, which is very, very scary. Okay, so it has knockoff. that too. Um, so I'm going to bring the Indeedee back in and I am going to just rock slide, I guess. Um, I don't think I really have great plays right now. I really need to try to get a Trick Room off, but it's very difficult with the Corviknight sitting there. That does an incredible amount of damage. Um, yeah. So now I can just go follow me. Um, follow me trick room is probably not the best move. Um, because they can just basically use a move with Rillaboom and then, uh, honestly, Corviknight can just knock out the stack attack anyways. Um, that being said, I'm thinking protect. No, that's stupid. Um, 
think we're just gonna expanding force and rock slide. Okay, so we take out the boom, which is nice. Body press. Okay. So we got Reuniclus here. <clears throat> um, I'm actually just considering uh, attacking around the Corbinite because uh, it's there's a strong possibility that uh, Corbinite's only attacking move is uh body press which is more than okay for marowak so i'm thinking about helping hand and max mindstorm into this glass rear i think that'll be good because i think they might try to taunt my reuniclus Um, yeah, I think, I think this move is okay. Last rear. Oh, nope. Okay. Taunt, yep. Not horribly surprised. Okay, my horsepower. Cool. DD goes down. Chilling Nay. It is Life Orb. This is going to do a ton of damage. Oh yeah. A ton of damage. Alright, so we bring on our Marowak. And they bring out their Rotom. Which I don't think can really touch the uh Marowak. Um so I think what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna protect I think I protect the Marowak and I mindstorm the Rotom. Okay, so we just get that one. So uh yeah we go one and one honestly that first game, really close with RNG. It happens. It's Pokemon. I mean, you're going to get those rolls sometimes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Yeah.